Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit. And today's topic is how to display related records using Salesforce flows. So you might have already gone through my previous videos, which I have prepared on Salesforce flows. So in today's session, in today's video, I will be going to show you that how can we display the related records in an account object related opportunities or related contact using flows. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's begin. And in order to do this, let me switch back to my Salesforce org. And the business requirement is right now you can see when we uh, when I open my sales application and I open an account object. And if I open any record inside an account object, this is my account object and I open an, I open a record here. Let me open a record all accounts and let me open an account here. So here, do we have any opportunities related to this account? Let's check it out. Are there any, are there any related opportunities? So see, there is one related opportunity. We have five related cases and there will be one contact. So right now we have these contacts and opportunities and cases will be displayed as a related part but i would like to display by using flow so i just want to display it here as a flow component so how can we do that how do we achieve this and how do we pass this record id to our to that flow in order to fetch the detail this is all i'm going to talk about in today's video so let's begin. And for this, we have to start. We have to open Flow Builder. And in order to do that, I'll switch by. I'll navigate to the setup home. And here I just open Flows. And click on New Flow. So it is going to open a new Flow Builder. And because we would like to display the details to the user, so therefore we will be going to create a screen flow. Otherwise, we can go with a record, a record trigger flow also, but record trigger flow is for automation purpose that it will send an email notification alerts or it is to update a record or to, uh, to send emails or to perform other operations. That will that will work in backend. But at this time, in this in this requirement, we would like to display the result to the end user. So therefore, we decided to go with screen flow. So I select screen flow here and click on create. So the very first step in the screen flow is I need to create one input variable through which I can pass the record ID to this flow. And in order to do that, I click on the toggle toolbox on the extreme left side, click on new resource, and we will be going to create a variable here. So I just click on variable and I rename that variable as let's say account record ID and the data type will be record and account object. Make it available for input. See the reason for making it available for input that from external sources we can pass the we can pass value to this particular flow or to this variable as a parameter. So we can assign we can pass the value to this particular field the field we are going to create this variable. So click on done. So I just created a new resource. Now it's time to fetch the record from the contact, related contact based on this record ID. Because the, the business requirement is for any particular account, I would like to dis we would like to display the related contact or the related opportunity. We have to display that. So how do we do that? I'm going to create a new collection here. That's a data element I will be using get record element and I just write here get related contact I would like to fetch the data from the contact object so I just pass contact here and uh, we need to pass a condition because if we don't pass a condition then it will be going to if I set this to none then it will fetch all the records all the contact records but we don't want to fetch all the contact records we would like to fetch the related contact so therefore I'm going to add a condition and the condition is where account ID, this account ID is in the contact object. So where account ID equals to account record ID, the ID of that particular record and account record because this account ID record is mapped with the account object. So this ID is from the account and this account ID variable exists in the contact object. 
and I would like to fetch all the records because it may possible that we may have more than one related contact for a particular account and automatically store all the fields and click on done. Like this way, we can add, uh, we can add, we can add one more data element in order to display related contact. We can add uh, multiple, uh, we can add one more, uh, another data element to get, to get related cases. So let me show you how do I get the data for related contacts. So I click here. I will be following the same process. And click again. I get the data get record element, and I just write here get related opportunity. And the object is object will be opportunity object condition. Here also we have an account ID in the opportunity object equals to the account record ID dot ID. And all the records and done. So like this way, you can see we have two data elements, one for related contacts, one for related opportunity. And now finally, it's time to display the record on a screen. So therefore, I will be going to create a new screen element. And in this screen element, I just write here, I just labeled it as related. Uh, I'll just say, let's say screen one. I label this as a screen one. And I'm going to configure the header. So I just remove the header and configure footer. I remove this footer also. I don't want this footer. So I just hide this footer. Instead of that, I just want to add a label, display a text. And I label this as, let's say, text one. And here I'm going to display related contacts and opportunities. Related contacts and opportunities. And uh, I just customize that as on requirement. We can just do the formatting. We can apply formatting to that. And uh, depends on the requirement. And even we can change the color as well. So I just the custom. Now I need to display the related contacts and opportunities. So there is a component available in a flow that is called data table. So using this data table component, we can display the data, uh, data in the form of rows and columns. So I click on data table. And I just write here, uh table one and the label as label as related contact and use the label as the table title now here we have to uh, specify the source collection and the collection is get related contact and here i need to add the columns so i'm going to add the columns here i just add the columns one by one so the first i'm going to add a column let's say the column as uh, I'm going to add a column here as, let's say, uh, it's a contact. So I'm going to display first name, done. Add column, last name, done. So I want to display first name, last name. And let's say I would like to display uh, other fields as we have the fields, let's say, contact, email, ID, contact, email and done. So I just displayed CC. So like this way, we will be going to display the related contact. I'm going to add one more data table in order to display related opportunity. So I just set as table one, table two, sorry, because table one we have already set, and I just write here related opportunities and use the label as this. And here the collection will be get related opportunity and configure columns. I said the columns, let's say we have to display opportunity ID. We don't have opportunity ID, but we have opportunity name. So I want to display opportunity name. Done. Uh, the next one I just want to display is the stage, the current stage. And the amount. So I just display few of the fields and click on done. So now you can see the screen is ready. Let me save this flow and I just save this flow as account related contact and opportunities flow. Click on save. It's done.
And now what happened? We have to activate it because first of all, we can do one thing. We can debug it. We can test it whether this really works or not. So I click on debug. And for this, I'm going to check it out. So I'm going to check this out. So how can I check this? Uh, in order to debug, I can pass an account ID. So I just pass an account ID here and click on run. And you can see display the related contacts and related opportunities. Now to edit this, because I don't want to, I don't want the check boxes, the boxes which are coming up here. So for that, what I can do, I just open this screen and I have to do a formatting. So basically the format here is configure rows. I say view only. Here also, I just set it as view only. And click on done. So let's save this and it's uh, we save this. Let me run it again. We have to run again and we have to select the value again. So basically I just debug again for testing. And again, I'm going to select a value over there. About and run. So you can see now it's perfectly fine. And finally, what we'll do, Let's deploy this flow. Let's add this flow on our record. So how I'm going to do that? First of all, don't forget to activate this. If you don't activate this, you will not be able to display this flow. You will not be able to place this flow on any record page. So I just activate that flow. And now I'm going to place that flow over here. So I just edit this page. And I will be going to place this flow over here. So I just drag and drop this flow here. I just add a flow here. And we have to specify the flow name, account related contact and opportunities flow parties. Now, one thing, if I simply save it, let me show you one interesting thing. If I simply save this, now you might be wondering that what's the use of this account record ID field which we have created as an input. Let me show the actual use of this. What I did, I just I just add the flow here and save it and click on back. When I click on back, you can see we will be able to see the flow, but there will be no uh, see this. So we have the related contact and opportunities here. See this related contact and opportunities. So how many opportunities are there? We have only one opportunity, but here you can see it's showing that it's it's working differently. Actually, see this. is it the same here? The contact is test contact, but it is showing something different. So therefore, what we have to do, it's mandatory to pass the ID. For this record ID, we have to pass. Otherwise, sometimes it takes a default one. So therefore, what I'm going to do, I just select. I just select this flow, and I just pass this. Pass all the fields value from the record into this flow variable. Don't forget to check this option, because as you can see, this is the same input variable, input resource, which we created here, account record ID. That's the same. So I'll just save this, click on back, and let's refresh it. And now you can see, we'll be able to see the proper records. So these are the contacts and the opportunities related to this opportunity. This is related to this account. Let's try to change. Uh, let me try to change my account and I'll just try to look for a different account. Let me do that. Uh, do I have this United one? So I don't have one anyway. So I'll just open uh, very 512. How many contacts? There will be zero contacts and zero opportunities. So that's why I see showing nothing. Let's add a quickly add a new contact and add a new opportunity. So I'm going to quickly add a new contact here. Name as Peter Paul. And Save this. Same, I'm going to add a new contact here. Opportunity for Peter. Amount is close date. Stage is this and click on save. And one thing, let me edit this record and let me set the email ID. and click on save. Done. Now, let me refresh this record. And once we refresh the record, we will be able to see the related contact and related report. So that's the way we created a flow in order to display the related contact and related opportunity by using a flow. And we place that flow inside a record. So that's all in this video. That's all, everyone. So if 
you find this video helpful or interesting don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell also feel free to give it a thumb up thumbs up and share it with anyone who might be benefiting who might get benefit from it and of course don't forget to leave your thoughts or questions down in the comments below thanks everyone thanks for watching goodbye